you used to see walk down the hall, five people that you ate lunch with, five people that you played ball with, and all of them are gone. Can you imagine trying to figure out how am I going to graduate thinking about that? Tonight, a school and a community are dealing with the fallout from another shooting involving a student. Authorities say one student who they say is the suspect in the shooting is dead and an officer is hurt. Our team coverage continues tonight in East Knoxville. We begin with 10 News anchor John Becker live on the scene. John. Robin, as you know, the heartbreak extends far beyond this school community of about 650 students at AE and the 150 staffers. It really touches all of Knoxville because this is another young person dead and this is another case of gun violence. We have seen far too much and that is what the community is underlining tonight. We will hear from them. We'll also get an update from investigators, but we begin our coverage with 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan with more from the superintendent and his words late tonight. Cole. John, this is new just in from the superintendent within the last hour. I'm going to read part of his statement to you. He says he's cooperating with the TBI investigation. The school district is cooperating with the TBI investigation. Bob Thomas also says we continue to keep the school community in our thoughts and prayers as we grieve the losses they've endured. He also expresses gratitude to KPD and says his prayers are with the KPD officer who was wounded. Right now outside Austin East, it's a lot quieter than it was earlier today when we arrived on scene shortly after 3.30. The shooting began around 3:15, and dozens and dozens of law enforcement agencies responded to this. Uh, law enforcement officers responded to the scene. Now the crime scene tape is down. A far cry from how it all unfolded earlier today. It's just saying somebody got shot. Video from outside captures the chaotic scene as the shooting unfolded. It started at 3:15, just as students began to leave for the day. KPD officers responded to reports someone had a gun at Austin East. Upon arrival, officers located the individual in the school in a restroom. They ordered him out, but he refused to comply. That's when the TBI says the student shot and hit the KPD officer in the leg. You can see paramedics bringing a stretcher toward the school. He is in serious condition and is currently in surgery. The TBI says officers returned fire, shooting and killing the male Austin East student. Police have not released his name nor the name of the officer shot. In just minutes, dozens of officers descended on East Knoxville in a sheriff's office helicopter circled low overhead. It was just very chilling. Um, first of all, to hear we have an officer down, and secondly, that it was at a school. Police now indicate just one suspect who is dead at the scene, despite initial reports officers detained someone else. If anyone was, was detained, it's more than likely witness type of information. TBI agents will take over investigating what happened. The police chief calls it a sad day for Knoxville. Our worst fear is an active shooter in a school. Um, those are our kids. Most of us are parents. And Chief Thomas says she was leaving that press conference around the 8 o'clock hour to go straight to UT Medical Center and check in on that officer. Initially, KPD described his injuries as not life-threatening. John. Some encouraging news tonight. Cole Sullivan leading our coverage tonight. We